Good afternoon, everybody. We are in a, a very beautiful day in Michigan, Fowlerville, Michigan. But what I'm going to do is introduce to you a hybrid system that was created by myself and some students for heating water, creating electricity, and also for collecting rainwater. So if you're looking at the front, the first panels that you see, the blue panels, are photovoltaic panels. Those are designed to create electricity or make electricity that is dumped into the grid, the electric uh, source that we commonly know. These two panels function are to run circulating pumps that are going to drive the solar water heating system. The panels that are on the back, they are four by 10 panels, um, a radiator in a box, if you will. Water is circulating through those panels as we speak. The sun hits the panels at 90 degrees or above and starts the circulating pumps that are driven by the photovoltaic panel. That water is then circulated and brought into a storage tank into the basement that preheats the domestic hot water prior to the water going into the regular domestic hot water tank. We're going to take a, a, a move around to the side. We actually have four panels that are here. This is a little older technology, a house still valuable today. These panels will heat domestic hot water to 140 degrees and probably no more. But four panels were chosen. Normally two panels would be sufficient to operate a domestic home water supply. However, we're operating a boiler system at this location also. So the other two panels are also designed to provide some water for the boiler system, which is also in the building. The two panels in the back, we have them slightly offset in height so that shading from the front panels does not um, discourage the, the sunlight from the back panels. We have limited sunlight today, but I would be willing to say, and we will see this in the basement, that there is 90 degree or above water that is in those panels today, even with no sunshine visible. So we're going to walk around to the back. We looked at our four domestic water heating panels. This hybrid system was built on a womanized rack because I didn't want to put this equipment on the roof. Everything is southern exposed, so we have optimum sunlight. There's no trees or limited trees that will not allow shading to happen in the area. So on the back side, because the rack was already here and the gutters were already here, I opted to collect some rainwater for watering vegetation. You can do laundry. You can do other things with the rainwater to flush the toilet with the rainwater. Um, so we can see that on the back side of the building, we're coming down from the gutter with an adaptation kit that comes from Home Depot for four to eight dollars. We're collecting the water at the gutter line and it is being fed into storage containers. Now these are 55 gallon food grade plastic systems and can be gravity fed to your garden hose or for, for doing laundry. And that's it for our outside viewing. We are going to take a couple minute break and go to the inside and show you what this system is actually doing on the inside of the building.